Hey there. Well, today I've got something super cool to show you. This is the latest release from SM Lite. And this is a Zigbee device that has two antennas and two radios inside. So this one can run Zigbee and Thread at the same time. Let's have a look. So they've called it the SLZB MR1. And it has these two chips, the CC2652P7 and the EFR32. So having a close look at this device, you'll see on this end over here, we have our ethernet port, and then we have this long slender body with lots of ventilation space over there. On the top side, we have a reset button over there. On the side, we have our USB-C port. Then we have some LEDs, which give us an idea of what's actually going on with the device. And then we have these two massive antennas that just screw on each side and give us the huge amount of radio power that this device is able to communicate with. So I plug the device into USB power as well as ethernet. And here on my router, you can see here, we've got the IP address. I just went and pasted that in and we've got this amazing control panel. So on the main dashboard, we've got some different areas. We've got the general status, ethernet status, Wi-Fi status, and the device information. So the general status will show us we've got radio one currently assigned to matter over thread, radio two assigned to Zigbee. Now I'll show you how I've done this. On the right hand side here, we can see the device information. We can see the two radios as well as the ESP core. And we can actually see at what speeds they're running as well as the memory, RAM and flash, as well as the temperature for the chip and the firmware version. Pretty amazing. If we scroll down the bottom here, we can currently see that we're connected via ethernet and we can see our IP address. And on the right hand side, we can see currently the device is not communicating over Wi-Fi. So next up, we've got our modes. So what I would recommend is selecting Radio 1 as your matter over thread. So there we go. We're going to select that. We're going to reflash the module. So it's going to download the information for that. And it's going to change it over to matter over thread for the first radio. There we go, that's done. Now I'm gonna select my second radio and I'm gonna create that as a Zigbee coordinator. Next, I'm gonna go along to the firmware update section and I'm going to check for updates. And I'm basically gonna flash the core as well as the two radios. It's well worth doing these updates because SM Lite are currently doing lots of dev work and updating it to give you the best possible functionality. Now, in order to get Matter over Thread working in Home Assistant, first of all, make sure that you do have the Matter add-on installed. This comes installed as a standard now on new versions of Home Assistant, but if you have an older version, you may to need to install it and start it. There's no configuration required. Now within Home Assistant, we need to go to Add-ons, to the Add-on Store, and we want to search for the Thread border router and we want to install that next up we go into our configuration and first of all just select any one of these as the device over here and show unused configuration options you can basically turn all of these to off and this is a network device so we're going to go in here and we're going to select the ip address from over there and we're going to stick that in there. And then we're going to go along and we're going to go to our mode. And we can see here that it is port 6638 and speed 46800. So we'll just go along and select the port, paste that in over there. And we are ready on the right speed. We can now save that, go to info, and we can start the add-on. Next, we go to devices and settings and we go to the open thread border router and we go along 
and configure. And you'll see there that currently we don't have a preferred network. Now, if we scroll down, you can see that I've got one running with HomeKit. And then above there, we've got the one that we've just set up. And we want to make sure that we select this as our preferred thread border router. Now we go along to our thread integration and we configure this. Now, what you need to make sure is that you have this little key showing here. If it's not showing, we just go there and we say, use this for Android and iOS credentials. Next up, we'll see that it's discovered the device in Home Assistant. So we can go add over here and submit and select an area to put it in. And there we go. We now have our device added to Home Assistant as well. So we can control or disable the LEDs as well as putting them into the night mode. And if we look down the bottom here, we can see all of our different entities. So we can see that it's connected at the moment via Ethernet. We can see our core temperature. We can see that we're on the development firmware connected to internet. We can see the two Zigbee chips, the temperature as which they're running. And we can see there that we've got our thread coordinator set up as well. So now I'm going to go along and try and add a Matter device. So we go over here, Settings, Devices and Services, Add Integration, Add Matter to Device. It's a new device. And as you see, I'm getting an error here. Fail to save thread network credential error. Thread network credential does not exist or match with any of the active thread networks around. So after doing some searching on this topic, I found this really useful response here from Peter Sheehan. Now, this is fantastic. Someone obviously who really knows what he's talking about. So apparently this is to referring to which app on your phone is used to deploy or set up commission new matter devices. Several options are available and they each configure the device to a different matter fabric. So it seems there's some sort of an issue whereby once you set up your smartphone to basically commission a device, it will lock onto the method that you've used previously. So I've been using my HomePod Mini recently to actually load three devices and then share them over to Home Assistant. So the problem is now when I've now added this SM Lite device and I'm trying to use that, it's saved something to the keychain of my iPhone, which is now not allowing me to use a different matter configuring device so it has some options here try a different phone now i did try a my ipad but the problem with apple is it shares everything across um, phones and ipads etc so i think it is still using the same one i don't have a mac computer unfortunately to delete the keychain access app to delete the thread itself. Um, I'm going to try now removing the HomePod from Apple Home and see if that works at all. And the final thing they're saying, there is a back channel method of commissioning Meta devices without a phone, but this requires your server to have a dedicated Bluetooth radio for commissioning and must be in Bluetooth range. So kind of a pain in the neck. So let's see what we can do. Good news is I managed to get it sorted in the end. What I had to do was install a fresh Home Assistant instance and then set up the thread border router from scratch. And in this way, it was overcoming this issue of being tied in with the Apple system that was originally doing my thread on my Home Assistant. So overall, this is a really, really cool device. I'm really impressed with what they've done with integrating these two radios. I love the fact that it's got this um, really powerful web interface that you can see everything that's going on and it's pulling some of that content through to Home Assistant as an integration as well. Another thing to bear in mind whenever using Thread, always make sure that you have IPv6 enabled on your router to allow that Thread over or matter over Thread to communicate properly. Well, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please like and subscribe 
and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.